Kuroda Kazuaki's liver with anchovy stir-fry. Salt, pepper, a blend of red cayenne and spices, and an unidentified liquid. Well-rested Mayumi juice. I have Masanori's autograph too, from Shinsen Chatran. Masanori was here? He knows about this place? It was from a long time ago. Hey, Date, do you want this poster? No, not really. You know, if you rub the swimsuit with a coin, you can scrape it off. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll throw it away for you. Meow. What are you doing? Oh, you don't know? It's good luck to imitate a cat in front of one of these. Oh, I see. Is that chair comfortable, Tessa? If it's not, you can sit on my back. This man will stop at nothing. Hey, Tessa, can you stack up those beer cases and stand on top? Then I can get on the floor and, um... He can't be serious. What is two arms and a face but no eyes? Hmm... Buddha. What the...? Like THE Buddha. He doesn't have eyes? Have you seen his eyes? But he's not blind! No, of course not. He sees all. Mizuki is like a cute little sister and and my favorite friend. I like her a lot. How much? About three universes worth. But just three universes? What about 271 billion 828 million 182,845 universes? Well, I like you double that. Hey, no fair! Oh, just like my big brother. He's a hero who will help me out of any jam. He's really important to me. I like him a lot. How much? Three Earths worth. What is this? indescribable feeling of loss. I mean, three Earths is pretty big, but... Nice, nice. Iris, you look cold. You okay? Yeah, fine. I just get cold easily. The room is 74 degrees Fahrenheit at 62% humidity. 
not conditions often considered cold. Well, Ota... Date, can I... <sighs> Look, I was gonna let you have it, but under the circumstances... What are you talking about? Mizuki, of course. You've been neglecting her. Don't you think she's at her limit? Mizuki stayed at one of the mermaid's houses last night. She was twisting and turning all night. I had to sleep in the same bed so she'd calm down. She called me this morning so I could pick her up. Normally, she'd be in school, but Mizuki had the day off for morning. I thought that she shouldn't be alone. Why don't you try being nicer to Mizuki? I know she doesn't show it, but she's really hurting. She needs you, Date. She just doesn't want to trouble you. She's a remarkable, brave young girl. You should try to understand how she feels. If you're asking me, he's involved in all this, isn't he? Is he the culprit? Did he really kill mom? Well, I guess it's understandable that he'd be a suspect. After mom got killed, he didn't even call. And he called me out to Bloom Park for some reason. I thought it was suspicious, but, but I pretended not to notice. I didn't want to acknowledge it. I wanted to believe in daddy. big sister, and I kind of envy her. No, stop it! It's true, though. I look up to you a lot, Iris. <laughs> Tessa is my hopes and dreams, my peace and my life, my light, my star. My son, my goddess, she's like the laws of the universe itself, the embodiment of beauty. An angel, a lover, a cute mascot to put on a body pillow, a guru, a wife, a soulmate, life itself. She's the object of my total devotion and worship. Snuck lover and wife in there. I would ignore it. And like I told you before, I'm Tessa's thrall. If she calls for me, I'll be there. Thanks, Ota. That makes me happy. She's out right now. I'm not sure where. Shopping, maybe. I've heard of them. Nizetlos, or Nyes, is a satanic secret society. Like a cult. They sacrifice children. While the sacrifice is up all night screaming, the cult performs ritual acts. Their ranks are full of politicians, intellectuals, and business tycoons. They've only been active for a few decades. But some say that they've grown to be the largest secret society in the world. An organization so big that it absorbed the Freemasons and the Illuminati. But even though their membership is huge, no one knows who their leaders are. Like, you've heard of the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds, right? But for Nyes, there's nothing. No one knows who's running the cult. My guess is that they're being led by a group of super geniuses. Ota doesn't know about the Wadjet system, or its connections to Nice. Iris found out just why they're after her. Pieces fit. If you believe everything she said. Her 
right, Iris. Let's get going. You got it. Date, if something happens to Tessa, let me know, okay? I'll come help right away. Me too. I'll save you no matter what, Iris. Thank you both. Promise me. I promise. There's no one in the garden. So must be inside. Wait. I have detected a living organism in the garden. You should look around. No one is inside. It's a garden lantern. I said garden lantern, not hardened and lanyard. I'm aware of that. Small island is Kojima in Japanese. The director Kojima? He's here? It honestly wouldn't be that weird for him, but he's not there. Satomi doing with so. Date? What's wrong? You said you don't know So Sejima, right? Right, I don't. What about your mom? Does she know So? I don't know. I don't think she does. Do you ever talk politics at home? Anything like that? Not particularly. Why are you asking me this? We told you you can't come in here! You can't do what you want just because you're a cop. You're trespassing. That's a crime, you know. Get lost. Let's go, Iris. Yeah. Where are we going next? Marble and Golden Yokocho. Wasn't that where we were attacked by Nyes? It'll be fine. I didn't tell anyone we were going there. They won't be waiting for us. Besides, they wouldn't ambush us in the same place twice. But why marble? No reason. I just need to talk to Mama. Hmm?
Sorry I couldn't come last night. No, no, don't worry about it. It was better that you didn't. Huh? You didn't hear? There was a shootout right in front of the bar. They closed all of Golden Yokocho down. They were saying something about hitmen suddenly pulling out guns and shooting. They were trying to kill a man and a woman. Wait a minute. Yep. Hey, Date, it says beignet custard on the board. What is that? I think it's written wrong. It's supposed to be vernier thrusters. Mama, you better order them quick or we won't be able to control the rocket. I know, I know. I'll have the vernier thrusters ready tomorrow. Iris, let me introduce you to Mama's little sister. That's a fridge! Mm. Extra hooks, too. Looking for a hookup? Beer! What? What? Don't like beer? Was that supposed to be a joke? You say stuff like that all the time. Dante, you want to watch Hiroka's promotional video? Who? She's a delight. No, oh, aren't you nice? Are you looking for a job? Iris is still in high school. How about after you graduate? Starting rate is 6 million yen an hour. Date, I need a body so I can work here immediately. You won't get hired looking like that. No, I'm okay. Mama, what are you doing? Hmm, just polishing the Bonito. Why? Why indeed. <laughs> uh, Sorry for the late introduction. This is Iris. Nice to meet you. I'm Aset, you bet. Oh, sorry, habit. I meant Iris. Oh my, you are so cute. Are you a virgin? You are right. Well, yeah. What a coincidence. Me too. Oh, you don't say. I think they must be foreign mafia. Some kind of international organization. They would do anything for money. Nice must have hired them. Sorry, honey, but I don't know a thing about that. You're an informant. I'm sure you must know something. I'm well versed in local information. I know all about Tokyo's underworld, but I can't say much about the rest of the world. Mama, I want to ask you something. 
What is it? Those gunmen were waiting for us. Did you tell anyone we were coming? That's right. You did tell Mama that you were coming. And that you were bringing Iris. Hmm. Well... I did tell one person. Who? The person I was gonna have you meet, of course. Same guy who gave Ren his watch. What's his name? Futa, I think. Futa Amanoma. <gasps> what? That's... Pewter. There's no one here. Maybe he went home. No, that can't be. Pewter is definitely around here somewhere. Date, your intuition is correct. I am detecting a living organism nearby. I knew it. I know! This pewter guy must be hiding between the binders! What, is he made of paper? Of course he's not in there. Of course pewter is not there. Take this search more seriously. Pewter in here? No, he's not. guy must be hiding inside the CRT monitor. What is he, a contortionist? Of course he's not in there. There's that bastard. I'll tell you everything. You told those men that Iris and I were going to Golden Yokocho, didn't you? Yes, I did. Renju hired them. Renju did? Which means Mr. Okiura is in with Nyes. Nyes? Don't play dumb. I know you're with them. I don't know what you're talking about. I was just helping Renju. Did you help number 89 get away? How much does she know? Just answer the question. Yes, I did. It's been bothering me. How was number 89 able to escape from Metro so easily? And you were the one being held hostage. If you were helping him the whole time, it all makes sense. I'm sorry you had to see this. It's... fine. But don't worry. I won't kill him. Then can I leave? Sure. If you don't mind me breaking every one of your fingers. Then I'd rather not. I've always wondered this. The cat on your waist. What is that? Oh, this? It's Bastet. Bastet? 
A cat goddess. Why are you asking me now? This is Pewter. Oh, uh... Hi. Nice to meet you. Hello. I'll have to give you my card later. I have a feeling that if I reached to my pocket, I would get my head blown off. Two days ago, Renju escaped from the hospital. Renju asked me on the phone to report everything about Shoko's murder case. That's what he wanted. Yesterday, the boss told me that number 89 was coming. Then, Renju asked, Is there any way we can let number 89 escape? I was conflicted. I thought hard about it, but it was Renju asking. Someone I love. And he sounded like he was on death's doorstep. He was begging for help. I couldn't say no. With my intelligence, I was quickly able to come up with a plan. You know what the results were. The escape happened exactly how I described earlier. Though, I wasn't being threatened with a gun. You were acting, huh? Just pretending to be his hostage. Yes. Did number 89 know about the plan? Of course. We discussed it when we were alone in the interrogation room. Naturally, he agreed. I imagine he would have taken any possibility of escape. Even if we failed, he was already serving a life sentence. I may not look it, but I have connections high up at HQ. Friends from my college days. I asked one of them to call up the boss. Is it true that you were the one who gave Renju his watch? Yes, that's true. I don't know. It's true. Please, believe me. Renju said that he needed him. That's all I know. I see. So where is Renju? Even if I knew, why would I tell you? Because you don't want more holes in your body than you already have. You can't. Why not? Date, I didn't tell you all this because you were threatening me. I genuinely wanted you to know. To understand. The truth, Date. What are you talking about? There's a variable you haven't considered. I made Aiba. And? You don't get it? Date! His hands! Date! <sighs> now, come with me. Damn it, Pewter! Date, calm down or it will compromise your ability to drive. If you crash, you will not be able to save Iris. Where is she? I don't know. So then where the hell am I going? How would I know that? You acted on your own. What about her phone's GPS? I tried. It's been turned off. Then... It's just an extra precaution. Put it somewhere they won't find it. Iba, call Mola now. On it. Hey, Dante, what's up? Dante. 
Tessa. Tessa got kidnapped? Dante, you bastard! I know, I know. Yell at me later. Right now, I need you to tell me where she is. God damn it! Koto! Ariake! Harbor Warehouse District! What? That's where the cold storage warehouse is. That's where I saw Iris' dead body. Hey, are you listening, Apple? I've got it, thanks. I'm on my way there, too. Those are the guys who attacked us at Golden Yoga Show. The mercenaries. How many? I detect more than we can see. They are positioned all over the area, surrounding the warehouse. Each of them carries an assault rifle. Getting through will not be an easy task. <sighs> Looks that way. There are portable barricades set up in two areas in front of the warehouse. Portable? They can be moved and erected easily.
There's a black van parked at the end of the harbor. Anyone inside? There are two ways to find out. Walk over, knock on the window, and open the door. Or, you can use the x-ray mode. Okay? Unknown, but at least we know she's alive. The issue now is reaching her. All right, let's do this! Hold on, are you dense? They're gonna blow your brains out. They got guns? Yeah, and not just one or two. They all have assault rifles, and they're everywhere. You can tell? Even in the dark? Have you forgotten that I found out what was inside your safe? <sighs> I have superpowers. I can see in the dark, and I have X-ray vision. Oh, shit, you were serious? We need a plan. Can you help me? Yeah, sure I can. But I need to ask you a few things first. That appears to be a military-grade all-terrain vehicle. MoMA. That vehicle. That's one of ours. I got it from the army. It's bulletproof. Even the windows. I thought you were trying to run a non-violent gang. Well, that's exactly why. We got rid of our offense, so we needed a little defense. I suppose that makes sense, in a way. So these bad guys, why did they take Tessa? The van's at the end of the row. Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse is right there. They must be planning on taking her inside. Right now, they're probably getting it ready. They've got lookouts waiting outside. MoMA has a hunting rifle. MoMA, that's not a toy, is it? No fucking way! This is the real deal, baby! And do you have a permit for that? I am a cop, you know. Oh, come on! Don't throw the book at me now, Dante! The jackoff who took Tessa. Pewter, right? What's his deal? I think Renju asked him to do all of this. Renju? Oh, that's right! Renju was looking for Tessa. Not only that, in a parallel world, I found Iris's body at an Oki or a fishery warehouse. I've got a bad feeling about this. Tessa's in the van down there, right? Yeah. In that case, why don't we go around the back? Unfortunately, that is impossible. The warehouses are flush with the water. The only path to the van is down the front. Shit. Guess it won't be that easy. So, what's the plan? Uh, well... Suki, Ota, what are you doing here? What do you mean? You contacted us. What? I sent an aisle message to both of them. 
Why? Date, if something happens to Tessa, let me know, okay? I'll save you no matter what, Iris. Promise me. I promise. A promise is an inviolable protocol. It must be followed. Do you know what a white lie is? No, I am an AI. You always pull out that excuse when it's convenient. Besides, Mizuki can be very helpful. And Ota? Perhaps he can be used as a shield. And that's cruel, even for me. Uh, Date? Who are the kids? Don't call me a kid. Who's the old man? So your sixth grade roommate and a knee who's trying to get his light novel published? What good are they? You don't look very useful yourself, old man. Yeah, you're all short and scrawny. Shut up, I'm not short. The Earth is just big. That argument is fallacious. And you're short too! No way! This isn't even my final form! All my joints are folded up. I can get three times bigger than this! Liar! Listen up, you idiots! You're here because you're all ASET fans. Water! Wet! Sweat! ASAP! Fears. Upset. Regret. ASAP! Gambling. Roulette. Bed. ASAP! Yes! Yeah! Yes! Yes! Alright. Let's work together and get our Tessa back! Yeah. yeah! This is our time to unite. Let's show them what we're made of. Yeah! Shoulder to shoulder. Heart to heart, we stand! Show no mercy, for you shall receive none! Yeah! It seems they've already become good friends. Iris has extraordinary power. Good. It's working. Here's the plan. Ota, can you drive that vehicle? It's bulletproof, so don't worry. They can't shoot you. Yes, sir! Moma. I need your trigger finger. Get on the back with me and shoot any gunman you can see. You got it! And Mizuki, you're our secret weapon. If it all goes south, we're gonna need your powers. Leave it to me. Hey, Date! What are you gonna have her do? She might not look it, but she's something else. They won't take her down without a fight. You sure about this? Yup. You should worry more about yourself, Moma. So, now you know your jobs. This is how we get through. I'm sure I don't need to tell you, but our objective is to reach the end of the harbor. We need to rescue Iris from that van and then get the hell out of here. Any questions? All right, let's do this. Yeah, let's lock and load. We're coming for you, Tessa. On three, one, two, three, go! go! All right, let's do this. Kill him! Damn, there's too many of them. I don't think my rifle can handle this many. 
I have to think of something. Good plan? Just listen! You still have that pornographic magazine, right? Don't act innocent! Last night you went back to Golden Yokocho. You found one of those magazines and hid it in your clothes. How did you know? I'm your left eye, Date. Of course I would know! In any case, throw it at the drum! No! Why not? This is a collector's item. It's SSR. I can't just throw it away. So what is more important to you, Iris or Eros? Arrow. Hmm? <sighs> Iris. Good! Hurry! They're closing in! Oh, uh, uh, wait, can't, can't we... Take this! What? Could it be? The legendary? Oh. This is amazing! No one back home will believe me! Date, now! Shoot the drum! <laughs> Now's no time for crying! The drum contains flammable liquids, do you understand? Fine, I got it. What? Get it together, Dante! 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 Dante, now! <laughs> Now's no time! The drum can- Fine! Still more of them! Man, no more oil drums to blow up! I'm at my limit here! Wait! Iba, any ideas? Hmm, let me see. Last night, you picked up something else, didn't you? I told you, don't act innocent! 
I'm talking about the panties and bra you shot down in Golden Yokocho. I needed it as evidence. Enough with your pathetic excuses. Just aim under the container. No! Damn it, Date! I was gonna give this to Reika as a gift. Someone else's underwear? Wine and underwear are best when aged. That's a famous saying in France. That is not true. Date, what are you doing? Iris is in trouble! Date! Okay, okay. I just gotta throw it, right? What the hell? This must be a gift from heaven! So wet, as wet as it gets! So dirty! Shameless! Absolutely shameless! Good, that went well. Now, if we can cause that container above them to fall, I see it. I could shoot the cable. Can you make the shot? Yeah. Then let's go. Oh shit, move! Let's go. Roger. Last one. Once we get through here, then... What's the plan? Fine then. My turn. Wait! Mizuki! Oh, that idiot! Mizuki can't do this alone. I know. Loma, cover me. Hey, wait up!
Thank you. My goddess, your chariot has arrived. Date! Ota, mission complete. All right, got it! Date, Moma and Mizuki contacted us. They're all safe. Good. Yeah, I'm a lot better, actually. I'm sorry, by the way, for everything. Oh, and thank you. I never thanked you for saving me. You should be thanking those three. Some bodyguard I am. I put you in danger. That's not true. If it wasn't for you, I would have... Anyway, there's nothing else to say, but thank you. Looking at the iris again? Oh, yeah. I can't see it well in the rain. You must really like that flower. Of course, we share the same name. Iris, the rainbow goddess. Yeah, that's what Uncle taught me. The uncle again. Perhaps it is not the flower itself that Iris likes. Nothing in particular. I didn't talk to him at all in the car. What about the group of gangsters? They were all speaking different languages, so I didn't understand anything. Do you think the fruit of immortality really exists? The legend about the shrine? Yeah. I told you yesterday, I don't believe in that stuff. I see. But you do believe in parallel worlds and secret societies. Because I experienced that in Iris' Sonia. This could be a negative side effect of the sink. It is possible that you've been emotionally compromised by Iris's morbid inner consciousness. Emotionally? Well, there is no point in discussing this now. I used to love Uncle. Not like romantically. I was 12 at the time, and Uncle was already in a relationship. You mean with your mom? Oh, you knew about that? I've heard a lot. Like the Okonomiyaki incident? Yeah, the picture I drew. Right. We were always like that. We always acted silly and played around and stuff. I remember that in sixth grade, Uncle and I used to play hand games. Um, like bratty cakes. It's like patty cakes mixed with rock, paper, scissors. Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker 
Cheeseman. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it, poke it, fill it with fruit. Put it in the oven. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I win, I win, yay! I don't know. I only called him uncle. Mama called him Falco. Falco? <laughs> Isn't it a funny name? Sort of weird for a Japanese man. Oh, maybe he wasn't Japanese. I never found out where he was from. Before he met me, he committed some terrible crime. It appears that Hitomi and the assassin number 89 were dating. What? Now you have to take the penalty! Up, up, side to side, up, down, pinch! <laughs> and number 89 is with Renju now. What the hell is going on here? Keep my promise. Promise? Did you forget? I told you that I would tell you who my late night visitor was if you went on a date with me. Oh, right. And we went on a date, so guess I'll tell you now. Sunday at 2 a.m., I was visited by. Renju Okiura. What? He seemed really sick, probably because of his injury. At the time, I had no idea what had happened to him. He was sweating buckets, and he came up to me with this begging look in his eyes. He said, come with me. He seemed really desperate. I couldn't say no, so I got into his rental car. We went somewhere, I don't know where, some deserted building. Mr. Okira got out of the car, then grabbed my hand. He tried to pull me inside. I got scared. I pulled my hand away and ran. Mr. Okira has done so much for me. He took care of me as a kid. He helped me at Lemniscate. I wanted to trust him. No matter what happens, I can't think of him as a bad person. I mean, he never did anything bad to me. He came to my house at two in the morning and tried to take me to an abandoned building, but you never know. Maybe he wanted to show me some flowers or something that he found. Or it was like a prank he was filming for the internet or something. And that's what I thought at the time. That's what I kept telling myself. But after hearing everything you've told me, I can't see Mr. Okira the same way. Maybe he's a part of Nice. Maybe he's trying to... Well, I didn't go home. I thought he might come back. I just walked around and went into a bunch of stores. Restaurants, coffee shops, net cafes. I was afraid that he would try to call me, so I turned off my phone too. And then at night, Around seven, I think. I turned on my phone and got a Nile message from Mizuki. I want to stay at your place. I met up with her and took her home. I thought having her around would comfort me. I don't know. Iris, I need you to tell me one thing. Where did Renju take you? Where did he take you exactly? It's been closed for eight years the chemical plant in the Kawasaki district. I don't know. I haven't seen him or spoken to him since.
Is this the place? Yes. Where did Renju try to take you? That door in the back. This is... A sink machine. Though it appears to be slightly different than the one in Abyss. Could this be the prototype Pewter was talking about? The Chiba Police Department was working on a prototype, but it was stolen six years ago. But what is it doing here? Hey, Iris! Are you okay? Iris, stay with me! Date, Iris's vital signs are going critical. What? Why? Unknown. But I believe the issue is with her brain. Her brain? Part of her brain is experiencing massive failure. If this continues... Let's get her to a hospital. Impossible. You do not have enough time. I estimate that Iris's brain can last only 10 to 15 more minutes before the damage is irreparable. How do you know that? I have scanned and analyzed her thoroughly. Her symptoms indicate that she will die within minutes. What? Sink. What? I'll use the sink machine here to go inside her brain. That will not cure her condition. I'm not trying to cure her. Two days ago, I saw her dead body. After that, we went into Sosajima's brain. And in his Somnium, I saved Iris. And somehow, I saved Iris in the real world too. Maybe we're in a parallel world or something. If I do the same thing again... You think you can save her? Yes. Iba, please, help me. Is that an order? Yes. Then I suppose I have no choice. My mission is to support you. All right. We don't have a lot of time, let's get moving. Date, this device is a prototype. It is not identical to the one at Abyss. You said that already, so what? I do not know how to reset it. There must be a manual of some kind. We need to find that before we begin.
Found it. Date, are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Shovel Forge again? This looks kind of like the other time I synced with Iris, but there's a different atmosphere now. Hmm. By the way, what happened to your usual appearance? I decided to hold back this time. This is no time to be playing around. Putting that aside, you want to help Iris, correct? Then we need to hurry. So what do we need to do? Care to ask the owner of this world? She's lost consciousness, even in her own Somnium. That proves how critical her condition is. Whoa! What was that? I do not know. But it appears as though we have no choice but to believe those words. The fruit of immortality, huh? But I don't see any fruit. We need to do something about this beam of light first. I've seen that monument before. But back then... Somnium scan! is unconscious. Why can't we wake Iris up? If we woke her up forcefully, she might become mentally and physically exhausted. We don't know if it is even possible for her to wake up. The core is... It's the same one I saw in the last sink. If I touch the core like last time... Even in the Somnium world, it might be better to not put too much burden on Iris. You're right. An egg-shaped monument. It looks more like a sugar cube to me. An egg-shaped monument. A pattern of a snake is carved into it. Opals are placed in the center. It must have some meaning to Iris, but I cannot determine what. Looks like cheese cubes to me. A monument is placed on top of the pedestal. I thought it was almond tofu on top of a rice cake. 
This is the same monument we saw before. Can you move it? I can try. I cannot move it. But we'll probably need it for something. That is a high possibility. I saw this iris during the previous sink. A winter iris. As I said before, if you want me to do that, I require the right tools. It's a flower. Are you telling me you can't pluck it with your hands? You did not have to be insulting. Oh, did I get it? Doesn't seem like the tool was the problem. I am relieved that I don't have to dig anymore. Don't speak too soon. Be ready to go whenever. A winter iris. A pedestal. Is that what it is? A monument is placed on top of the pedestal. I thought it was almond toast. A Chozuya. Iris is on An egg shaped mo looks more like a sugar. I see. Putting this here cuts off the light. I feel like I've seen this in a movie. Don't you mean you've seen this in Iris's Somnium? Just put it down. Huh? Didn't expect that. No, this is... I see. Did you figure something out? This might turn into a pentagram. Oh, I get it. That means... Yes, that leaves this remaining. A Chozuya. Let me see. Hmm, there's something here. A monument. If you place it against the light, it will complete the pentagram. Do it. What? They have appeared before. It may symbolize Iris's insecurities. Whoa! We have to deal with them before we find the fruit of immortality. Well, what do you want me to do? They don't want us to complete the pentagram. Is that why they attacked the Chozuya and Irises? But this pedestal has not been attacked. They cannot attack it for some reason. You think so? What other explanation could there be? As long as there is even a slight possibility, we must try. You're right. Thinking about what worked previously, we need to make a pentagram. But the attack has scrambled everything. We do not have time for trial and error. Think carefully. A 
pedestal with nothing on top of it. If we had a monument, we could place it... Monument. Understood. Where would you like me to place it? A pedestal with nothing on top of it. Upsy daisy What does that mean? I was merely trying to lighten the mood. I appreciate the thought, but... Oh, okay. A pedestal with a monument. An arch. This is called a Tory. with a monument on an egg-shaped monument. like me to place it. A pedestal with nothing on top. Understood. Huh? It went through. Seem like we can place a monument here. A pedestal with nothing on top. Understood. is complete. What? Why isn't it working? The pentagram is complete. The placement of the monuments must be incorrect. The lines of the pentagram must form the golden ratio. You cannot call it a true pentagram if the shape is broken. At the very least, the placement needs to be symmetrical. Got it. I'll try again. A 
Understood. Where would you like me to place it? A pedestal with... Understood. Shaped Understood. Where would you like me to place it? A pedestal with Upsy Daisy. The light. Pentagram is complete. What? Why isn't it? The placement of the monuments must be incorrect. The lot you cannot at the. Got it. I'll try. Shaped money. Understood. Where would you like me to place it? Would you like me to place it? A pedestal. Upsy days. What is that? I was merely trying to lighten the mood. I appreciate the th oh. The light. Pentagram's complete. What? The world is... It's breaking down. The Shovel Forge world disappeared. I am back to my usual appearance. What about Iris? 
it appears that she is unharmed. Give the fruit of the Tokiji Kunokaku, for you shall then be blessed. Aiba, the door to the shrine opened. Is that the fruit of immortality? It appears to be the seed of a citrus fruit of some kind. But we need the actual fruit. That voice said something about the fruit of immortality. I wasn't expecting it to be literal. Some believe that the fruit of immortality is a Tachibana orange. The Tachibana orange comes from a variety of evergreen trees. So, we are looking for some kind of fruit. Fruits have edible flesh surrounding the seeds. Right, but if we only have the seed... This is a dream world. If we plant it now, it may grow quickly. Aiba, you ready to slash and burn? I see. If we plant it there... It sprouted. This must be a positive sign. With the ashes as compost, then all we need is... It's a Chozuya. Why is it not broken? You do know this is not the Shovel Forge world, correct? But there's a pickaxe on the ground there. Pickaxe? You're right. But why? The pickaxe even looks strange. Maybe Iris left it behind because she wanted you to use it. Perhaps. I'll use it. Raining. So this is the fruit of immortality. We need to hand this over to Iris. Right. Hurry. Wait for me, Iris. I'm coming. is unconscious. Thank you.
good. You're awake. Date, thank you for everything you've done for me. Huh? What are you talking about? I'm gonna die, aren't I? No! Don't talk crazy. I synced with you to save you. This has to be the timeline where you live. I don't want to die yet. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I, I met you. I wanted to spend more time with you. I wanted to go places. I'll take you. I'll take you wherever you want. I'll take you to Ijerup, Kunishir, Shikaton, Habamai. Anywhere you want, Iris. Really? Yes. I I'm gonna be okay? Of course. You won't die, I promise. Okay. I'm glad. I'm not gonna die. I can be with you forever. Of course you can. You're gonna live, Iris, forever and ever. You'll become a grown woman, get married, have kids. I'll even babysit them for you. Tati, thank you. These past few days have been so much fun. Please, Mr. Tati! You can't leave me! Your back is so warm, Mr. Tati. It feels like... I've met you before. Then go on a date with me. And the Greek goddess of rainbows. You're the only person I can trust. No, no, Iris. You can't die. Please, Iris. Iris.
What is this place? This doesn't look like a pickaxe, but that's what Iris identified it as. This is a pretty oven. All right. A door. Not return. That's a big. S it must be a vent. A vending machine. Roger. Have all the material a crafting table This appears to be another gate, but something is blocking it. I dug it up! Got the material! Let's move on! This is a spacious area. Is that marble? Those flowers are wind- They're wilted. Wow, this place is huge! Maybe I can make something with the materials I have, okay? Another crafting- At least you don't have to do any more digging. Dante, do you see that shrine? Shrine? That's humanity's last hope and save us from the oppression of technology! We should have all the materials we need to craft- Please, Dante! Only me- Dante! I'm the only one who can save- Hey, Dante! What? Is following Iris's plan really the best idea? I don't know, but I feel like we're getting closer to the truth. Really? Let's go with it a little longer. I suppose we can. There's a crap. A crap. Iris said that. What's that on the? This an egg. This appears to be. This appears to. Understood. This 
someone's there? Who is this? Futoshi? That is not Mama. Futoshi. Can I talk to him? Definitely Futoshi. I heard that Futoshi left on a journey to Sri Lanka to cultivate tea leaves. What? Really, Futoshi? You're just gonna leave Ikuno behind? Someone's there? Excuse me, who are you? What the? me why is there a monster in marble hey don't say that about mama oh please is that this man what you know him not exactly he is a familiar face that has appeared in many unrelated people's dreams he is an urban legend of sorts if you are interested i can tell you more later no that's okay You're a material? We cannot move forward with the debris in the way. Something is clearly peculiar about this. It's blocking the gate, but it seems to have come from nowhere. It's unnatural, for sure. Does that mean Iris is blocking us on purpose? Can she do that? What if this is also part of Iris's imagination? Iris's live stream is sh It is blocked, but this must be the exit for Golden Yokocho. Understood. I suppose we can't... Seems like it. Iris's lives. Okay, time for tonight. Over there, right, Iba? Do you want to rethink this? No. This appeared. I believe I. This appears to be another game. I dug it up! Got them! They're wilted. Maybe I can make something. Okay? Another crafting. At least you don't have. There's a crafting... A crafting... Specifications for... This appears to be a... This appears to be a... Iris 
Jane's good news. And hope the fact that you believed in me is good news. And Date, you are my hope. I'm your hope? You might be able to use it now, Date. Use what? There's something around the flowers. I suppose we dig here. Right. All right. Understood. What is this? I've never seen anything. Is it on the wiki? I'm gonna... What is this? Oh, I get it. It's a... Hmm? An item of that description. Let's fight for the future with the power of love. If you use this, you might be able to find me. Use it? How? You need to dance, Date! Oh, that's right! Again? Haven't I danced enough already? This is to save Iris. Please, just bear with it for now. All right. I'll just use this bomb somewhere over there, I suppose. Yeah, try it. Cannot move. Around here? Yeah. Dance, baby! Dance. Do you want me to dance? Please. Oops. Looks like I messed that up, didn't I? Okay, well, guess I'll just die and restart. Okay, let's regroup and keep going. As a video game character, experiencing death again and again is wearing me down. Iris is further away from us now. So when will you stop believing her? Dante, can you see that shrine? Iris, I'm sorry. Did we make a mistake? No, you haven't. What's going on? Are we supposed to go that direction? Iris, are you there? Something big is coming. Okay. Iris! Nice is coming! Dante, help me! Huh? Sorry, everyone. My PC is acting weird. Iris is in trouble. Is there any way to save her? Dante, this is Somnium. It cannot affect the real world. That's not true. I saved Iris in Somnium once. If I don't save Iris here, Iris in the real world is in danger. Either way, we do not have the power to fight against the UFO. If you want to help Iris, we need to find a way. What can we do? Where do we go? A mirror door. But I'm not reflective in it. It's a pyramid. Can we be rational and look at my feet? Your feet look like a sad, sliced open hair tail. Do you think I can climb it? It's worth a try. Then I will try. You see? You look pretty. Like a goldfish. Sorry, I guess. Please do. 
It's a pyramid. It's blocked. But it must be the outermost gate. A mirror door. A mirror door. What? Power of dance. The most dance is the only way to... The reason why your reflection isn't sh... You're a threat to their existence. Date. Please, do it. Understood. It's blocked. Without a pickaxe, there is... Nothing is showing on the monitor. Iris isn't here anymore. Nothing is showing on the monitor. Nothing is...
This doesn't... A door... A door or gate. It is closed. This doesn't... A door... Oh. 
a big it must be a vending machine a vending machine One moment, done. Does this crafting table even do anything, really? The switch is done. What switch? Just watch. What are you doing, Date? Fight nice with the power of dance! Date, don't listen to her. So, this is what nice looks like. This is what's behind all this. Was Iris lying to me? I'm not lying! Project Bluebeam is using holograms to trick you! You can't let it fool you! You have to use the power of dance! Huh? Oh, look at that! The enemies disappeared! What? a glitch? I'm not lying! Please believe me, Dante! This appears to be another gate. I believe I can dig it up with a pick. Let's get dig- Roger! This appears to be another gate. I dug it up! Got them and let's move on! This is a spacious area. Is that marble? Those flowers... I knew it. It's dangerous to do what Iris tells us. I get what you're saying, but is it really dangerous? Tate, think rationally. There's a crap. Iris said that all the materials should be here. But... What's that on the floor next to the table? This is... the egg... Specifications for... Boom! Not... The same crafting table we've used previously. A crafting table. This appears to...
someone's there. Who is this? Futoshi? That is not... Someone's there? What is N.A.? I see. You can take advantage of this glitch, Date. But I don't know anything about guitars. I said glitch, not gretch. I can do that? This game is filled with bugs and programming errors. We can take advantage of that to reveal things not supposed to be seen. I see. Let's try it. Understood. What? It spent the this man material. We can use you? Is it a glitched skill? Oh, I see. How about that? Anything change? The numbers have changed. What, is it August 32nd? No. The pickaxe is level 255. That's pretty extreme. But with this glitched item, we may be able to destroy something we were not supposed to be able to. Something in the game world. Or rather, something Iris doesn't want us to destroy. a strange wall. I see. I just need to use the pickaxe. You're right. Do it. Leave it to me. The wall disappeared. Iris has bloomed? No, this is no miracle. Merely the result of the game's programming changing the iris from wilted to bloom. That can't be. Dante, what are you doing? What about the monument? What about fighting knives? Tell her that we have the strongest pickaxe. We don't need that. Let's continue. Screen? Is it loading? Well, if you need to use the bathroom, now's the time! This is... Golden Yokocho, not the world of Shovel Forge. This might be Iris's real Samia. There's nothing here. We have no choice but to move forward.
Is this the exit? Let's go in. We're back. Hey, look. What? A pyramid? A mirror door. Well said, Date. No, you can't. That mirror amplifies the power of dance. Then I will do it. Stop, please. Please. Ah! when she was a child? Iris, this is all in your head. You're imagining it. It's not real. No, you're wrong, Dante! Iba. What? Let's end this. Yeah. Iba, that thing there. Uh -huh. Destroy it. No, stop! Understood. Okay, I think I got it. So it's like this. Date and Tessa were attacked at Golden Yokocho by a group of unknown gunmen? No, not unknown. They were hired by Nyes at Laws, also known as Nyes. I found out Nyes' secret, and now they want me dead. Date, is this for real? It's true that we were shot at by armed gunmen. Nice part. Date, you don't believe me? Iris, let me be honest. I think you're letting your imagination get the better of you. It's not my imagination! Why don't you believe me? Date, you're just being stubborn! 
You're just a cynical old man who doesn't believe in anything. Then you have to give me proof. If you can't show me proof, I can't believe you. Iris, seriously, you're imagining things. Fine, then. I was stupid to think I could trust you, Date. Goodbye. Date, you don't believe Tessa, right? Right. You don't believe Nizet Laws exists? No, I don't. Then why was she almost kidnapped? I don't know. But it might have something to do with Renju. He was looking for Iris. In any case, we don't know who's behind it. But we know she's in danger. Which is why I came here. I need you to hide, Iris. What? I need to go somewhere. To Hitomi's residence. Yeah, I need to talk to her immediately. There's a room back there she kinda made her own. She's probably there. She's certainly made herself at home. Has Iris been back there before? Yeah, Tessa's been here a few times. Well, yeah. If you make her mad, you make me mad. Well, I guess you'll have to be mad then. She had to hear the truth. The cold, hard truth. Even if that's true, you could have worded it nicer. You could have handled this better, Date. I think so as well. You are as clumsy as ever. Iris? I mean, I don't mind, but... Why here? The... organization that I'm in may have a traitor. So I can't take her to HQ. That, of course, means that I can't take her to my house either. So I thought this diner would be a good place. Her enemies wouldn't look for her here. If she's here with you guys, I know that she's safe. <laughs> Wait. You guys? Yeah, I'm expecting one more. Any minute now. Mizuki? Don't worry, I understand everything. I'll protect Iris. Anyway, if they do manage to find her here, having Mizuki around should help, right? R right. I know how strong she is. Good luck, you two. Thanks, Date. Date. I'm sorry for coming so late. I need to talk to you about Iris. What is it? Iris said something to me that was... Very concerning. She said she's being targeted by an organization called Nizatlas, and that she needs help. Does any of this sound familiar? Yeah. <sighs> I didn't intend to hide it from you. I just never found the right time. Huh? She's... sick. Iris has a malignant brain tumor. A brain tumor? It makes her say strange things sometimes. I see. Her delirium could be a result of a brain tumor. It can also cause hallucinations and violent thoughts. It makes sense. Everything Iris said was likely a result of her condition.
It's a brain tumor. It can cause a number of side effects. Nausea and dizziness. Sometimes her hands and legs go numb. Sometimes she can't control her body temperature. No, but I am kind of warm. was all caused by her brain tumor? I didn't tell her the specifics, but I'm sure she knows. We found out in January. She suddenly collapsed at school. She went to the hospital and they examined her. They found a tumor. According to the doctor, surgery wouldn't help. You mean... Grade 4. Terminal. She has... a year to live. At most. That's what the doctor told me. And if they were right, then... she only has a few months left. Because sometime real soon... I'm going to die. Ordinary treatments won't work, but there is one way to save her life. Which is? Tate, it's from Mizuki. <sighs> Why now? Sorry, could you excuse me? What? What happened? Iris, she... she's gone! She disappeared! I only took my eyes off her for a second! What? Where did she go? I don't know, that's why I'm calling! <sighs> but she left a note on the table. Oh, just sent you a picture. Did you get it? I have it now. Opening. I have tried calling Iris with a different line. I cannot connect. It is probable that she turned her phone off. Damn. Mizuki, let's split up and find her. Let Ota know too. Got it. Did something happen? Iris said that she was going with somebody, with the person she trusts most. Any idea who that might be? No. Okay. I'm gonna go look for her. I'll go too. No, please, stay here. She might come home. But... It's alright. I'll find her. Trust me. Okay. Date, the person in Iris's letter, the one she trusts most. Who do you think that is? I see. The man Hitomi was dating six years ago. He was a thoughtful, reliable man. I thought of him as a father. But 
Iris said that she was looking for him. What are the odds she found him just now? I don't think that's possible. I think so too. Remember what Iris said? I look up to him. He's done so much for me. I know I can rely on him more than anyone else. According to the mermaid at Sunfish Pocket, he was looking for Iris. I think Renju called Iris. And Iris went looking for him. Exactly. Then what can I do? We've been looking for Renju. Everyone at HQ is looking for him too. Not to mention he's on the run with number 89. And even with all of that, we haven't found him. We don't even have any leads. If we only had some clues to work with. Then we wouldn't be in this mess. Are you giving up? Iris might be with number 89 at this very moment. We need to find her immediately. Now think, Date. Where would Renju go? It's true that they've known each other for some time, but when we went to the house, Ota already searched Sunfish Puff. It's open for business. Iris was not there. I didn't ask about Renju, but I am sure that he would have told us. Renju's house is currently occupied by officers from HQ. If he went back there, we would have been contacted. I got a call from Mizuki. She went to Lemniscape, but no one was there. Cold storage warehouse. Maybe he's there. There is no one here. Damn. He's not here? Let's go, Iba. Wait. What's wrong? Is there someone here? No living organisms detected. Then... No living organisms detected. You mean... Let's search the area. We might be able to find something. On Sunday night, you saw Iris's body here? Yeah. Her dead body was right here on the workbench. Iris.
Have you settled down? The scene is being inspected without you. This time the body didn't disappear. However, you lost consciousness. I didn't expect you to faint. Seeing that corpse must have been incredibly shocking. I did not predict you to be the fainting type. I suppose humans are unpredictable. Now that you're back, let's get back to business. You are conscious, are you not? Are you at a loss for words? Date, don't let negative thoughts consume you. Thinking that Iris died because of me. If I never took her to Ota's, this wouldn't have happened. If you truly believe that, then your brain is completely rotten. Or perhaps when you saw the corpse, your head became filled with images of blooming yellow dandelions. What? Oh, you're talking now. Was I correct? If you consider the situation logically, even an elementary school student would understand. Huh? Fine. Allow me to pluck some of those dandelions from your mind. I will ask three questions. Please answer honestly. First question. The cold storage warehouse was not in regular operation. But even so, the AC was on and a minus 58 degree temperature was maintained. Why is that? Preserve something. Yes. Let us move on to the next question. Second question. There was something strange about the corpse. Do you remember what that was? Iris's body was completely frozen. Temperature read negative 58. With Iris's weight. Just wondering, but how much do you weigh? Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady that? 105 pounds. I see. 105, huh? It should have taken about 18 hours to freeze solid. But we were. Wait a moment. Before you draw your conclusion, allow me to ask my final question. Question three. Two days ago, Sunday night, you found a dead body in the cold storage warehouse. But afterward, you visited the Sagan household and discovered that Iris was in fact still alive. Why? You've got it. is swollen slightly. She appears to have been pregnant. How? Do not worry. The uterus does not contain a fetus. You mean after she was killed? No. The fetus was not present in her body when she was killed. She must have been killed after giving birth. The distended stomach does not immediately shrink after birth. The expanded uterus takes some time to return to its normal size. This evidence makes one thing perfectly obvious. This corpse isn't Iris. It's someone else. Which means? 
Iris is still alive. Not necessarily. She could be alive. We haven't confirmed that yet. <sighs> Multiple stab wounds with a single-edged, sharp object to the victim's back. Judging by the size and shape of the marks, the weapon was most likely a kitchen knife. This matches what you said on Sunday. So this is the body I saw then. Is there an estimated time of death? Impossible to determine. This body has been completely frozen for at least 10 years. 10 years? She was killed more than 10 years ago? Exactly. Her identity is unknown. Her killer is also unknown. But there is one likely suspect. Who? Let's consider the clues. The scene. Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. Sunday night, we saw So here. And there is something else about So Sejima. We witnessed someone similar to Iris being stabbed repeatedly in So's Somnium. But it wasn't Iris. It was this woman. That is highly likely. What we saw was So's memory from more than 10 years ago. I believe that is the case. Renju and So? But we still do not know where Renju is. That means that we need to talk to... So Sejima. <laughs>